In a world full of winners and losers, two men have risen above to bring you The Dirt Sheet. Mr. McMahon is looking for the best in WWE to go at it at WrestleMania to determine the champion of champions. Yeah. Hello, boss. Remember us? I'm pretty sure you sign our enormous paychecks every week. And you've complimented my abs on more than one occasion. But instead, he just wants the Raw and SmackDown champions. He never even mentioned ECW. So we thought we'd take a look at these so-called champs. First up is John Cena, world heavyweight champion. First he's a rapper, then he's a soldier. One thing's been consistent, though. He's He's always always lame. Then there's the game, Triple H. He's WWE champion. First off, only losers play games. It's true. Next, what does he do? The guy hasn't had a cool move since he did that little bow thing, and that was like 15 years ago. So, Mr. McMahon, we urge you to take a closer look at ECW, and more specifically, us, because we are the guru of greatness. And your chick magnet, be jealous. Fans and welcome to ECW Live from San Antonio. Todd Grisham and Matt Stryker here. Glad you're joining us tonight. Some other people are joining us tonight as well, Todd. Evidently, The Miz and Morrison's latest episode of The Dirt Sheet poked some fun at John Cena and Triple H, both of whom are in the building. Let's just hope they're only looking for the heads of The Miz and John Morrison and not the rest of us. I would throw you under the bus so fast. You do know that, don't you? Oh yeah, these two need to get hurt. I don't care if it's for me or Cena, but Miz and Morrison should each eat at least two finishers. What's going on, Wolfpack? Holler at your boy. Ow! It's me, for the Wolves, bringing you another WWE 2010 SmackDown vs. Raw. We are in week four of our Road to WrestleMania series. And as you saw earlier, we are on ECW tonight, taking on The Miz and John Morrison. We are John Cena and Triple H. And as you saw, Triple H really wants to teach these guys a lesson, and he says they need to eat two finishers each. So Triple H and John Cena had a little discussion, and they said, hey, how about I give an attitude adjustment to one, and you give a prayer degree to one, and we share the love. Triple H said, okay, we can do that. We'll do that. So John Cena said, okay, I'll start off the match. I'm going to tag you in, Hunter. And then we'll just do some work on these kids. And Miz is off the ropes. Oh, double arm flip. Arm drag. I I can't remember what I'm saying. But anyway, guys. I am playing this game. I'm really enjoying this game, I've got to say. And this is towards the very start. Oh! Oh, Spinebuster signature move by Triple H. Damn. Oh, suck it, Triple H saying to the Miz. And am I going for the pedigree? Pedigree early on? This early, the pedigree? Can he hit it? I've never got one this early. Oh, I hit the pedigree on the Miz. I can't pin, no, I need to get two finishes in. The reason I want to get the two finishes is because it's an optional goal. You get to unlock things on here. If you've played this game, you'll know that. And it's probably one of the things in the future series as well, where you unlock stuff when you do optional goals or mandatory goals or whatnot. But for this match... This was when I just started playing. I was learning Triple H a little bit. I didn't want to pin, so I cancelled it. I was learning to play as Triple H. So I wasn't too sure how to do his signature moves. That's why in the match against MVP, I'm trying to run and do the knee. And then I figured out the signature move is also a spine buster. So I can use that as well. So I was having fun with that spine buster. And here you see John Cena just dissecting the leg of the Miz. Oh, low blow by the Miz. That's no fun. And right here, guys, there may be a little bit of a cut. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, no, a little bit of a jump. I had to pause the game. My wife had come back, so that's the reason why there's a cut there. And speaking of her, my phone is ringing right now. She is calling me, but she I am commentating, so she will have to wait. Sorry about that, but there you go. So we're still going through the Miz and Morrison. And I'm just trying to work up John Cena here to try and give the Miz an attitude adjustment. I was going for a signature move. There. I'm not sure what his signature is in that position. Maybe I'll find out. Turn him around. I didn't have a signature, did I? 
Oh, maybe I did have a signature. This must be seen as other signature move. Oh, a leg drop from the top rope. Dang, I've not seen Cena do that in a long time, not since his Doctor of Thugonomics days. Cena's got more ground and power now than athleticism. And who can blame him when the WWE has really built him as a Superman character? And I think I'm going to Irish whip him into the corner here. Yeah, trying to force the tag. I missed the turnbuckle though, so I'm going to let him make the tag. But he's coming at me. I don't know why they do that. I want to give him, I want to give him a chance. He's going to have to get the tag to Morrison so I can do my finishes on him. But Miz just keeps coming at me, and I'm getting pretty sick of him. So I'm going to kick him in the stomach and whip him into the ropes. Oh, flying hip toss. Nice maneuver. Guys, I have a spread shirt shop if you want to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not self-promoting or anything, but, you know, if you like what you see, feel free to buy one. Triple H telling Miz to suck it, and get out of here, Miz. Get out of here. Trying to run and knee him in the face. Didn't work that well, but it's fine. Not going to count it here. Oh, kick to the face. That's how I roll. That's how I roll, Miz. Get whipped into the corner. Now make the tag to Morrison. Just tagging Morrison so I can whoop his backside. And then we can get on with the get match. There you go. Thank you very much, Miz. Now let me work on John Morrison. But let me know if you're liking this series, guys. You seem to be liking it. There seems to be a few views popping up now and then. I like what I see. If you do like it, please subscribe. It really will mean a lot. And if you leave a comment as well, saying if I could improve on, I don't know, commentary, gameplay. What sort of... Oh, nice reversal by Morrison. What matches you want to see, even? Because once the Road to WrestleMania series is finished, um, I will probably be doing custom matchups for you guys to see. I have a lot of... Another reversal by Morrison. Come on, man. I lost my signature. I'm so mad right now. But I'll probably be doing custom matches for people. I have a match coming up. Oh. Oh, can I hit the pedigree on Morrison? That knee straight to the face. That may have confused him enough for me to hit the pedigree. Yeah. What's Cena doing? Get out the ring, John. Get out the ring. I'm not pinning. Get out the ring. I need to make the tag, John Cena. Get out the ring, Cena. Get out. You're going to get counted out here, John. Ref, come on, ref. But I've made custom threads and whatnot. And custom intros, stuff like that. So it's going to be fun. So if you want Elimination Chambers, Tag Team Matches, I can't get in the ring now, come on. Um, triple Threat Matches, Tag Team Matches, Handicap Matches, Tornado Tag Matches, Tables Matches, let me know guys, I'll be more than happy to provide the content for you. Of course that's after the Road to WrestleMania series. I may have a break from this series and put a custom match up, I think that'd be quite interesting to see. Maybe play with a friend or so, see how that turns out. And of course I'll still upload in my Call of Duty gameplay guys, but... You guys, as you know, Call of Duty isn't doing as well as it used to do. I'm really having fun playing this game right now. Call of Duty, you can't have fun with, with this. It's just a beat em up. There's nothing bad about it. I just really enjoy this game. And talking of enjoying, I enjoy this five knuckle shuffle with the shot straight to John Morrison's face. Get up, Morrison. Get up. Let me give you an attitude adjustment. You know you want this. Just accept it, John. Don't try and counter. Just accept this. Don't count, Morrison. Come on. You know you're in trouble. Look at you holding your head. You know you're done. I'm going to kick you in the stomach. Come here. Get up on my shoulders. Get up on my shoulders and just accept your fate that you're going down for the attitude adjustment. Get out, Morrison. Triple H is going to knock Miz off the turn, off the rope. Pin him. Count him, ref. One, two, three. Match over. Cena and Triple H win. I'm going to leave it to the commentary team to take it away. Finish it off, guys. Triple H and John Cena pulled out the victory. I guess the whole is not greater than the sum of its parts. Look, I'm the teacher here, okay? Quit stealing my lines. But you're right. Despite Morrison and Miz's unity, they fell to these reigning world champions. Maybe those two will think twice before they insult someone, though I doubt it. Good night.